But yesterday you were at the press conference for uh, the nostalgic fight, the, th- yeah. the fight where they're classing them as born rivals, Chris Eubank Jr. Uh, and uh, and Conor Ben going nose to nose yesterday for their first face off. The fight is over the line. October the eighth is when it's going to be happening. Uh, all to arena. Um, Listen, I'm all for the pomp and ceremony. I'm all for the back and forth. I'm all for the nostalgia. I'm all for these two young men probably earning the most amount of money in any single fight that they can possibly do uh, at this moment in time and maybe even going forward in their careers too. I had major concerns over the weight this Baron said because obviously we've got a welterweight, let's be straight. And let's put this in layman's terms for people, right? Conor Ben is a 147-pound fighter, a welterweight fighter that has never fought for the English title, British title, Commonwealth title or European title. Never fought for any of those belts. Yep. He's stepping up in weight to fight a guy that has challenged for world honours at 168. Okay, he fell short. He fell short against George Groves, but he challenged for world titles against elite an elite guy at 168 pounds. That will that won't get sanctioned if your name's not Eubank or Ben. Let's be straight about that. But the fight is being sanctioned, and one of my big concerns was about the weight. But it seems to have been ironed out throughout the course of the week. Yeah. So yeah, um, we had to get to the bottom of that actually because it was sort of it was uncertain what the weights were, what the rehydration clauses were. Um, so went down to the press conference on Thursday. It really interesting. Like, uh, look, I love this fight from, mm. oh, for, for the same reason as everybody else. The history of it, the history of this fight goes back 30 years to their fathers and they're continuing. They do not like each other. They continue. There's a family feud. That? There is a family feud. Do you feud. believe that? 100%. You believe that, there is, that, that, that these two young men don't like each other? You 100%. And okay. I saw that. I saw that on Thursday. Like Chris, it was like watching their dads. Right, Chris Eubank Jr. was a carbon copy of his dad. When he's that, he knows the buttons to press. He knows what to say. He knows how to get under Connor Ben's skin. Yep. Right, and Connor's an emotional guy, and Connor was biting, you know. And this is interesting. So the fight's made at one sixty. I'm sorry, one five seven. Yeah, the fight's made at one five seven. Now, Chris Eubank Jr. hasn't made that weight since he was eighteen. Yeah, right. It's the lowest so, he's going to be as a pro. So, for people to understand this, right? So he's boxed at 168. He boxed George Groves at 168, super middleweight. Yeah. He now campaigns at 160. I I was working on his fight when he boxed Leon Williams um, back in February, yeah. and he was at 160. And I saw him at the weigh-in, and he was tight. Yeah. When I say tight, like, there was not there, there was not an ounce on him. No. He looked really tight at the weight. So making 157, losing that extra three pounds to, to the normal guy in the street, that's like that, that guy losing three stones. That's how difficult it is. So that's a massive advantage for Conor Ben. Conor, Conor Ben looked big, actually. He, was, he said he's, he's still got to lose a stone for this fight, actually. He's got to lose a stone to make the weight. So Conor Ben did look big, but I suppose... It's all about how strong Chris Eubank would be. But I spoke to Chris about it, and he said to me, look, Spence, I won't come in. He said, I'll be 60% of myself going into that ring mm-hmm. because of the rehydration clause. Is that dangerous? And I said, yeah. But he said, look, I'll win on 60%. He said, I'm not... And that, that's a... Yeah, that's, that's dangerous. Right, but... See, that's where my problem is with the fight. Because everybody... We're all in on the nostalgia. And and this is where boxing's at right at this moment. And we're going to hear from both guys in a minute, and, the, and you're going to hear their thoughts on, on the fight. We're in a really weird time with, with boxing because this is, let's make no bones about it, the reason for this particular fight is because it makes business sense. Does it yeah. make sporting sense? No, it does not. Both mm. of these guys are in different weight divisions going in different directions and they keep telling us that they want to go in a direction where they're fighting for world titles. This is nothing to do with anything other than dope. And I don't begrudge that because at the end of the day, titles ain't going to pay people's mortgages. Yep. The money that you earn from this sport is a brutal sport. Get as much as you can and get out as quick as you can. And that's what these two guys are doing on this particular fight. My my concern was regarding the weight thing. So 157 for Eubank Jr. is the lowest that he will ever be as a pro. Yep. Then we're talking about rehydration situation. Right. This is where it got confusing, right? So I thought, I mean, what do you think the rehydration clause is? How much do you think that he's allowed to put on? Well, I'd guess. I mean, I don't believe in them. I don't think they should yeah. be. If you hit 157, that should be sweet as a nut. Yeah. You can do what you want now, pal. Yeah. We've agreed on the weight. That's right. And you should be able to rehydrate this is fully why... over 24 hours. Therefore, you can come in at the best that you can possibly be on fight night. There's going to be a weigh-in on the Saturday morning, which is the fight day. Yeah. And he's got to hit a certain figure. I'm going to guess that it's about 10%. 
So you think 10% is what are we talking there? He, he's probably, well, you would, £15 on top of that? £10? You're crazy. Well, no. that's ridiculous. That's what, that's what I'm saying. So I thought it was £10. I said to Chris Eubank Jr. yesterday, done an interview with him, and I said, look, Chris, you know, you, you, you've you got to come down to 157. You haven't done that, you know, since you as was a, a pro, kid. Yeah. yeah, you haven't done that as a pro. It's going to be tight, but you've got your rehydration clause, haven't you? So you've got your, your £10 to put on. I thought it was £10. He looked at me and said, you're mad. I ain't got £10 to put on. He says, not £10. He said, that's why it's all working in Connor's favour. He said, one, they're getting me down to 157, and two, I'm not allowed to put on more than five pounds. I said, you're crazy. On the, so, so to weigh in on the morning, the Saturday morning, he's got to be 162. Yeah. <sighs> that's dangerous. I, I think that's... that. This is why I don't like rehydration clauses. I really don't like them, because at the end of the day, you should have a contracted weight, and mm. I think 157's cutting it, because he has he is, he is nothing on him. It's all water that he's got to get rid of. Yeah. So he's got to get down to 157, and I think then he should be able to rehydrate fully, go yeah. in, going into it's the not. ring up. Going it's into not. a ring on Saturday night. So therefore, when we're actually talking about the disparity between weight of these two guys, on when they walk to the ring, he's obviously going to put on an extra one, two pounds as he rehydrates throughout the course of the day. We're talking that they're going to be very, very close, within three or four pounds of each other when they actually step through the ropes. Yeah. But one of the guys who is naturally bigger has massively depleted himself to go into that 100%. fight. 100%. And that's why the fight now becomes interesting. You know, because you think, like, Eubank, when you see them together, Chris is a lot bigger than Connor. Yeah. You can see that. But you watch when it comes to that fight night, Chris is going to be boiled down, proper boiled down. Connor's looking big anyway. So he's going to be... He's going to be going in there really strong. And it's just... I suppose it's, it's all about this rehydration, whether Chris... Will lose his strength. You know, if the fight goes into the later rounds, which I expect it will. You know, I think that it's going to be a long fight. If he's not fully Both guys gonna... can he take a punch? But this is it. The punch resistance goes. <sighs> you know, it's interesting. Yeah. That's why the, the fight. That's why the fight. Chris said that he agreed to all these terms to make the fight even. This is what he said. He said because otherwise I'm I'm better in every department. He said so. I win. He said so. I've agreed to these terms, and now it makes it a little bit more level.